all right so hello again so before we move to the property module while we are still in the part module we need to start thinking about partitioning our parts and partitioning is very very uh, useful and uh, in some cases like a critical step uh, in order to make sure that later on once we go into the meshing module that everything would be meshed properly using the proper mesh uh, shape without having problems with the machine. So that's why we need to create these partitions. So let me start here with the partitioning of the bolt. So right now we have a bolt, right? That we just created. And the bolt has like three different pieces. And those three different pieces are have a different diameters. And they have like some interface between them. And also they are curved, like they are have a circular shape. So typically uh, this, when you are go to the meshing, as we are going to see later on in our tutorial, tutorial series, once you go to the meshing, if you start, uh, or if you try to mesh this element, this part as it is right now, you will get problems in the meshing. Like sometimes you can do the meshing, but the shape of the mesh elements can be distorted and will not look ideal. And meshing is a very critical part uh, of your finite element model. And the better your mesh is, the better your model will look like and the analysis will be more robust. And there will not be any issues with respect to uh, conversions and uh, the analysis will not stop due to problems with the meshing. So how we can do the partition? So the partition, you try to partition your element into smaller cells. So right now your part is a single cell so it's all made of one piece okay but we want to break it down so how we can break it down so you can break it down from this option over here so this icon here again it has this uh, black uh, triangle in the bottom uh, right uh, corner so this means like if you click on it you have different options but these are all different options that you can use and techniques in order to partition your part so i will use here the like the e the easiest option or the first option that you have here by default which is called define the cutting plane so i'm going to partition my cell so right now again my part is just a single cell right now so i want to partition it and in order to partition it i need to define a plane a cutting plane in order to partition it so here Abacus is asking me, how do you want to specify this plane? So there are many ways into how do you, can you define a plane for cutting? So you can use point and a normal using a point and a normal, or you can specify three points or a normal to a given edge. So there are all these options. I'm going to use the easiest one perhaps for me is just by specifying three points. So if you specify three points, you define a plane. So I click on three points and then Abacus is telling me select the first point. So as you see here, once I did that, uh, you already have like these vertices. So by default, Abacus will generate these vertices on your part or on your cells. So right now I have these yellow points, if you can see them. So these yellow points are the vertices of my current uh, cell. So I want to select three points. So let's say that I want to cut it I want to cut this bolt like a pizza pretty much all right so I want to cut it as a pizza so I want to select a plane that cuts it vertically so I can select uh, this point this point and then this point so these are all three points that will cut uh, out my part in the YZ plane so if I click on the last point and then if I say create partition, so this is what happens. So now I broken my bolt into two cells. So see right now when I'm selecting, it's not one cell, it's now divided into two cells. This doesn't mean that they are not connected. No, they are connected physically, but they are now different. Like I can select each one differently. And this means that when I'm going to the meshing module, the meshing algorithm will see those as two different cells 
which will create lesser problems uh, and more more arranged uh, and more uh, regular uh, mesh uh, shape so let's not stop here let's again uh, mesh them again like again we said at the pizza so we want to cut another one horizontally so here abacus again is telling me select the cells you want to partition so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to hold shift and select the other piece and click done and then again i'm going to use three points but you can try the other options so i'm going to use this point this point and this point so now i have a cutting plane horizontal cutting plane and say cut create partition so now we have it like that so this is much better let's do partitions here at the interface so in the y x direction let's do a partition here at this location uh, instead of doing this as the same way that i select the cells and then i uh, select the three points let's do something different let's do different technique so from this icon again if i hold the left click let's use datum plane so there is an option that you can create partition using a datum plane. But in order to use this option, first we need to define a datum plane. So before I use the other option, let's define a datum plane. So this is from uh, these four icons over here. These are all icons to define like a datum axis, a datum plane. So these are all reference planes and reference axes that can be very helpful for many things as we are going to see later. So from this one, again, you have different options. So different ways to define a plane again. So I'm going to select the first one, which is create a datum plane using an offset from a principal plane. So if I click on that, uh, so then uh, Abacus is asking me the principal plane from which to do this offset plane. Which one are you doing an offset from Y, X, X, Y plane? the yz plane or the xz plane so we are going to do from the xy plane and then abex is expecting me to provide the offset but the question is where is the where are these principal planes because i see the coordinates over here but does this mean that the principal plane is right here no the principal plane actually it's at the origin the origin if you remember when we started drawing our part we drew everything from a sketch and then we extruded outward. So when we did that, actually the principal plane is at this surface over here. Okay, so I have my X, Y, Z coordinates for this part, for the prince. So these are the principal planes for this part. They are located at the origin point over here. So this means if I want to cut, create a data plane at this interface so this means that the offset is actually equal to zero so if i click enter so as you see here right now i have a plane a datum plane it's in yellow color okay at this location if i can rotate so that you can have a sense where it is exactly so you see it's at this location so this is the location of my principal uh, x y plane axis so this is where we started drawing the part for our sketch uh, let's do another one uh, let's do another one also from the xy plane so we want to do another one here at the end of the shank length so this is with an offset of 25 millimeter which is the shank length and i click enter so again i have another plane over here let's click escape and now let's do the cut uh, again using this second option which is using a datum plane so i click on that so now Abacus is asking me select the cells that you want to partition. Well, let's select everything anyway and click done. And then Abacus is telling me to select the data plane. Let's start with this one and I click create partition. So now you see this part now it's like a pizza slice like disconnected from the shank. All right. But still this part is still like when I select that this part of the nut is still connected to the shank so in order to break it i need to select all these cells again click done all right and i need to select this partition plane this datum plane and then create partition so now all these pieces are 
regular in shape and disconnected from the, the other ones next to it. So this is very good and this will help us once we do the meshing, the meshing will look uh, very nice and you will not get distorted mesh elements. So this is for uh, meshing uh, a bolt, all right? Uh, let's do uh, the same thing now. So the next thing that we want to do, let's do the same situation by meshing the rest of the uh, parts. So for eye-shaped sections like this one, like the solid column section, again, this is not good like this when we are going to do the mesh because right now you have these fillet uh, locations, all right? If you don't have the fillet locations, maybe it would be fine. But since you have these fillet locations, this will not be good because you have a curved surface and a prismatic surface and this will cause some issues when the algorithm for the meshing will start working. So let's now again do the partitioning of this. So we want to break it down into smaller and regular, perhaps more prismatic uh, cells. So let's use this other option like defining a cutting plane. So I'm going to use the three point option and let's start by cutting here at the end of the fillet radius. Okay, so I can select this point. I can select this point and we need another point. I cannot select this one because if you do a finding a plane, the three points cannot be on the same line. So I select this point, this point, and then we just need to select one that's uh, not on the same location so that will be this one for instance and then i say create partition so as you see here now this top part of the column let me so this top part now of the column is disconnected from the bottom part so let's do the same let's create another partition let's select we are going to partition this cell as well using the three point option perhaps the easiest option is the three point options but sometimes you can use the date and plane as well so this point this point and this point and then create partition so here you go so now we have it let's also over here this cell you see it, it has this curve so let's cut it into smaller pieces as well so let me select that and actually this one as well we can hit two birds with one stone so these two cells let's say create partition using three points so now i'm going to use these points so this is at the end of my cell my uh, my fillet and this one as well and then create partition so now i broken down like this so now you see now i divided it into like this cell that i'm selecting i'm highlighting it over here this is a, a rectangular, a cubic cell, like it looks like a cube. Okay, so it's very, it has a very well-defined geometry. So when we are doing the mesh, this will be very easy to mesh. The algorithm will not get any problems with that. So let's do the same for these two as well. Done. Three points as well. Let's select the vertices, this point, this point. Then we need to select another one not on the same plane. So that's this one, create partition, that's it. So this is very good. So this is how you should partition all your solid uh, eye-shaped uh, sections. You need to cut them down like this in order to get proper uh, meshing later on. Uh, you can, well, you can go further. You can cut, uh, if you want to can cut this into two pieces, if you want, if you want to have like a center uh, cut at the middle of the section you can do that that's fine uh, so what i mean is like you can divide this one you can click done you can do three points one two three you can create a partition here <coughs> sorry excuse me so i have a partition here in the middle of uh, the column if you don't want that Okay, let's say that you did that and then, oh, no, wait a minute, maybe we don't need this partition. You can delete the partition. How can you can delete the partition? So from over here. So this icon over here, it says delete feature. So if you click on that, 
then you need to select the feature that you want to delete. So if you just hover with your mouse uh, over here, so now you see the this feature, which is the cut that we did. This is a feature. It's a bit, it has been highlighted, so you can select it. Okay, so it says here highlighting partition cell 5. And then if you click done, then Abacus is trying to confirm. Okay, but this you are going to delete the selected feature and everything else. Yes, so done. So it's removed. You can also do that actually from the uh, model tree. So if you go under column, under features, if you expand, these are all the features that we have done. We have did the solid extrusion. We have done the partition four partitions, right? So if you want to delete any one of those, you can do that, all right? Uh, in the same time, uh, by the way, if you want to modify, let's say the, the section geometry, so let's say that we have done the section geometry already, but we want to modify the length of the column or the cross section. So you want to go to this over here, the one above delete feature. So you go to edit feature, and then you select the feature, which is the column extrusion and then you can modify here the depth of the extrusion that we have already did when we created the part you can modify that you can click on this pencil uh, icon to go back to the sketch and maybe modify it so you can do that as well uh, but i'm not going to do that now everything is all right anyway so okay okay nothing all right so for the beam I don't need to do any partitioning. This is already a shell element. And as you see, the way that we drew it, it's already partitioned into like uh, different pieces. So I don't need to do this with the shell. This is only for the solid extrusion. For the end plate, yes. We should also do a partition for uh, the end plate uh, because the end plate, again, it has holes. And when we are going to do the meshing, this will be problematic. Uh, if we do it without partitioning, you will get like irregular uh, shapes of mesh uh, around the holes. So the best way is to do the meshing. So we can do the same procedure using three points. Uh, typically, I cut it in the middle again. So you try to break it down into smaller pieces. The more, the better. Then I will select those two cells. Done. Going to select three points. One, two three create partition again you can use the other options for creating partitions there are many options depending on the geometry but for regular shapes either with the datum plane or with the cutting plane definition uh, you can do pretty much everything uh, let's select all those again done uh, let's select three points let's cut here horizontally at this level create partition so that's it you get the idea select those three points one two three create partition select those done three points one two three create partition and again here three points one to, oh, sorry, not these points. We want uh, these points on the holes. So one, two, and three, create partition, that's it. So as you see here, now my plate is like broken down into smaller cells. And this will guide, as again, as we mentioned, this will guide the meshing uh, algorithm to do a very proper job and a very uh, organized uh, meshing uh, elements. All right, so that's it. This covers the partitioning of uh, parts. And in the next uh, video, we are going to discuss, now we are going to move to the next module, that is the property module.